Yeah, MSMs, like all the 2GG events. But game one, people. Starting out this game strong, double fair. Into so death. Just, just committed to the Falcon at this point. Yeah, he, he, he's feeling Falcon. Ooh. And K9's not messing around, he's going Wolf. He wants his W. Yeah, I, I respect it. I think Kanon's just grinding Wolf as much as he can in these locals right recently. I haven't seen him go any other character. Mm -hmm. uh, actually, Sheik for one matchup. I think he played Tempo in their playing mm -hmm. uh, map. Yeah, makes sense. But, like, honestly, K9 would... Like, this is K9's probably ideal character. He wants the kind of slower character, spaces him out, has good combo game. And Wolf fits all that perfectly, and like got that bear, he got that kill with the bear pretty easy. Nico hitting him off stage yeah. with a rapid jab. He read the jump get up too. It, it was just kind of unfortunate. Oh, going for these stomps. He's just jumping in place and stomping. I'm just some of the stuff I see Nico do. I'm just like, how does he get away with it? And some, there's like. Like, sometimes when you are good enough, people don't expect you to do, like, these, like, kind of YOLO options, right? Yeah. Like, you, like, you, you kind of, like, expected them to do, like, some something crazy, right? But, like, no, they're going for, like, it, like the bad option is sometimes the good option for them because they have, the, they have that level of respect. Nico just, like, constantly shifts between someone who's, like, it looks like someone who's never played the game before or is, like, maybe... You know, only played it a little bit, and then someone who's like really good. <laughs> it's just so weird to watch. Well, when he's, well, it, 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 he does not show that at all when he's playing Shulk. But when he's playing Falcon, no, no, he, he, he's, he's letting it go. K9, on the other hand, always serious. Just once, like he, yeah. he has like these game plans in set where he like kind of. Waits out, he like kind of space, like kind of puts himself in like a perfect position where he could whiff punish you, and that's what K9 is usually looking for. Oh, going for a little aggressive option. Oh, there's yeah. a stomp, knee, death. I see. I almost feel like that style that K9 plays almost is is uh, countered by what Nico's doing, just because Nico's just kind of all over the place, He's very unpredictable. It's like. That specific game plan that K9 has isn't really gonna work as the set goes on. Um, it it's going to it, it'll work eventually because, like, what K9's kind of doing is like he's trying to find out Nico's patterns right now. He doesn't know, like, what this Falcon's looking for, honestly. But like, eventually he'll figure it out. He'll and he'll adapt. Like right now, he's getting all his tech options off that one fair. Get up attack. Oh, actually, falling out of that second hit of four tilt. Ooh, Nico definitely almost got like something disgusting. If he went for the dare, I think he would have comboed it into anything. Oh, he just went for oh. the knee read there, but mm -hmm. he got stuffed out by the nair. Yeah, he gets the roll on stage. Here. There's the bear. Yeah, off stage. He almost gets hit by nair. Hmm. Went for an up tilt instead of a four tilt backwards. He would have got the stock. And the game right there. Oh, I thought the up smash was going to beat it. There's the bear. Oh, he, Nico read that. Oh, he, he fell, fell out. out of Oh, and he no. need him. Oh, no. Okay, like, both both players got, like, that one, uh, like, that one, <laughs> that one no god moment, right? Yeah. Like, like they, they were both cursed and blessed for, like, one <laughs> brief moment in time. But Nico came out. Just, he just short hop behind him and then need him and <laughs> killed him. In neutral, like he just expected the shield drop. Mm -hmm. And uh, K9 gonna stay wolf. I think K9 was still thinking about uh, that up smash to be honest. Yeah. And how he and how Nico fell out of it. Nico had already moved on. Yeah. Well, like he he also had like three opportunities where he could have killed him. Like he had that, he had that up smash. That was unfortunate. But he also had an F tilt that he could have got the ledge when Nico overextended, and then he also could have anti-aired with an up tilt. 
Game two, Ni uh, uh, sorry, not Nico, but uh, K9 is always, he always starts out really strong. Mm -hmm. I've noticed that. It's, it's, his adaptation is, is pretty strong, but whether he's or not he's able oh. to carry that. Don't throw me, then you're killing me. He's going for it, but not going to connect. K9, oh, couldn't get that bear. Oh, up smash, not going to connect. Nico's yeah. been going for that up smash so much, and it, he just, that's his thing. <laughs> he did it three times. <laughs> Somebody needs to get this man a shirt that's just Falcon up smashing. That little, that little pose. Yeah. Side B the Lich is so risky against Wolf. He can just F tilt you. I think if you actually got Nico that shirt, he'd burn it. <laughs> Why? He hates this character. <laughs> he hates Falcon? He hates this character. Why does he play him? He's playing him out of irony. It doesn't even make sense. He's still playing the character. Yeah. <laughs> There's the point to the ticket. <laughs> How can you play a character ironically? <laughs> How do you play a character ironically? Dude, people do a lot of things ironically. People listen to music ironically. Like... It's sometimes, sometimes you hate the character, you play it ironically, and you start to like it. That's that's like how a lot of like memes start, right? Like no one liked dabbing and flossing, and then like they did it ironically to make fun of it, and they thought it was funny, and then they did it. Yeah, yeah like, you're still doing it. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> it's like the meme of the person like oh, he's dead, falling down the slide. <laughs> And they're like saying yeet ironically, and then at the bottom, like you can't stop, and it's <laughs> saying yeet and not being able to stop. Yeah. Oh, that up smash is gonna up smash him at the ledge. Sure, why not? Oh, good chase coming in from K9, though. Oh, Nico's just going for some of these ballsy options. Yeah, and K9's just keeping him at the ledge, or at least putting on a lot of damage. Rolling back and forth, Nico. Oh, he caught him with another up smash, dude. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is why he throws out that move. Does, does things like that. Definitely kidnapped him. Definitely kidnapped him. <laughs> he's got a bag over his head. He's in a van. He doesn't know where he's going. <laughs> but it doesn't matter because uh, K9's definitely taking this game. Unless you Nico, say that. unless Nico pulls some crazy stuff out of, he just la landed an F smash read in neutral. Like I'm not gonna count this guy out. <laughs> oh, there's dash attack. Oh, gets him with the boot, but he ain't Falcon's dead. Still living. Uses the Falcon kick to recover. Gets gets Falcon down quickly. He doesn't recover his jump like in the other games, but it still can mix you, your opponent up. Uh, yeah, and uh, oh, up tilt. Oh, up. There yeah. we go. Got the, got that uh, that roll. wasn't re wasn't a read, more of a reaction. Like he was already in the, he was like in that position, like where if Nico rolled, he was gonna get him. He was like, oh, you rolled into me. Thanks. I'll take this stock. That's what good players do, though, Mr. Rogers. They put themselves in the situations to make those kind of plays. Yeah. They do. But it's also a little bit of luck because, like, he also, it, like, most people would be a little bit closer to, like, cover the neutral, the jump, and the, like, the get up attack. Because those are the three, like, you, like when you're in that one, that one position, you're only in a position to cover one out of four, like, five options. Because you could also do drop down. Yeah. That's true. I mean,. It's, it depends on whether you view it as luck as luck, or as your ability to tell what your opponent's doing. Yeah. Well, right there. That was uh, that was when he was trying to predict that role right there. Yeah. Because he, he was in the position. He, like, he turned it around and, like, he tried to get the punish, but he didn't get it. That near definitely taking it. Yeah, that's still two framing there. And then uh, Nico just had no options. Just had to be back. K9 oh. threw out that back air. Yeah, that, uh, like Falcon's gonna have a bit of problems in this matchup because like Wolf's aerials and ledge game is disgusting. 
Yeah, and we really haven't seen K9 manage to get that much out of it. Like, most of his kills have been in neutral. Mm -hmm. uh, so it, it could be possible he's just kind of get used to uh, Nico playing here. I think maybe Nico's style has got him, has got him a little rattled. <laughs> nah, he's, he's, he's fine, because, like, they're even. And he's actually winning right now. So like well, now, I'd say that the easy the easy stuff for him is maybe a little harder. It, it seems like yeah, because he it, it seems like there's a lot more situations where he could be pressuring him at the ledge with the uh, tilts and, and uh, yeah, he could stuff. be going for that. Like like that would be like you you probably get more easier stocks out of that. But like, right there, he went for an up tilt, but I think he wanted to go for a sliding up tilt. He didn't he didn't move up. Ooh, oh, Nico read that. Nico read that. He should have got rewarded, but let's get the weekend instead. Yeah. <laughs> they're, they're playing what footsies. They're doing? The, no, they're like sitting there shielding. He, he's running around. Like he's he's running around trying to figure out an opening against K9. No jump. Oh. oh, he doesn't tech though. He's oh, that's gonna <laughs> die anyway. Drop down. Jump back there. Yeah, he must have expected Nair to send him the opposite direction. Yeah. He could have lived there. Nico could have detected if he knew he was going the wrong way. Oh. Nico wants that stomp. He wants Nico's that stomp. Nico's just in his face. He doesn't kinda, even care that he's down a stock and at 75%. But that's kind of how Falcon plays. Like, oh, there's that there. Just closing it out for K9. But, like... Falcon wants that, uh, like that in-your-face aggression. Doesn't want his opponent to breathe. Because as soon as he hits you once, twice, boom, dead. And then, like, Iniko's going for these kind of like YOLO-esque options, but he understands like the limitations of this character. That uh, that up smash is kind of ridiculous. It, you can't really punish it, and like you can't jump against it. Like you have to kind of wait it out and then like punish accordingly. Either you have to kind of predict, is he going to go for an aggressive option and attack me, or is he going to hold shield? Like, is he going to shield after he does the up smash, or is he going to roll away? Or jump. And, like, you kind of have to, like, it, it's more like a kind of a, a weak neutral, but you're, like, in a defensive stance. But Nico opting to go shulk now. Yeah. Um, maybe. I mean, he's definitely a lot more comfortable with the character. And it is his main, after all. Mm -hmm. So, deciding to maybe take this match a little more serious. No, I think he's taking it seriously as Falcon. He's just trying to figure out the character. But now, this, like this, this game face. He don't want to lose. Yeah, I feel like Wolf is a pretty hard matchup for Falcon. It is. It should be like in theory a really bad matchup for Falcon. Wolf has really good ledge options, doesn't let him back on stage, has pretty decent uh, like offstage options too with that Nair and uh, Dare too. Kano's oh, ready dead. for this though. No, he's, he's, not dead. he's gotten a lot of uh, parries and, and oh, good kind of unfortunate. Good, he's going to SD there and be down against Nico. Yeah, he was facing the wrong way after the up B, or else he would have snapped the ledge. Like, he, he understands like what Shulk wants to do. And like what Shulk's looking for, but it's gonna be a. Uh, he, it, it's still tough because it's Nico. Nico's understands his character. He understands fighting K9 as well. Like they're they're at that. They've played each other enough times to like where they know he's gonna try to go for this. He's gonna try to go for this. Yeah. Like how am I gonna? It's more like how am I gonna uh, counter my play like my opponent with the tools that he has. Yeah, definitely. I, I'm liking. K9 is able to sort of get in. He's been doing these parries. He's been dodging through a lot of uh, what Nico's been doing. But now Nico has just got him off stage. Oh, in disadvantage, he's been able to just kind of pressure K9. Like we saw on, off stage earlier, or when Nico was trying to get. Oh, sorry, K9 was going to get back. He just, he burned his jumps and he just didn't really have any options except to get Oh, he just ran up and down smashed him. That was a good, like, it was like a low-key tech chase. Because he had him in that awkward area where, like, he, like, Nico needed to press a button or else he was going to get punished for it. But, like, he, he Nico was, like, kind of scared. He, like, I needed to air dodge away and K9 was ready for it. Like, he, 
He didn't go for the immediate option. He, he kind of was a bit patient, got him with the punish. But then he took the stock, and then Nico got smashed up B with immediately after. So, but now we're still at this close game, meaning with a fair. Yeah. Oh, he caught the re great oh jump re coming in from Nico. Wow. He went that jump art, and then he went so high. Yep. It's just, I, I, you don't really expect to be chased up there, but Shulk can get you. Oh, Shulk could get you from anywhere with he's jump got art. Speed, he's got jump. I mean, yeah. I mean, it's not like in the other games where you're like, in the previous game where you got to switch a bunch or press the button a bunch. In this game, you just, it's two buttons, you got it out, and you're just zipping across the stage. It's not only that, but it's also like, you have to respect, like, yeah, like the they're basically like hyper monados because they're like they're a lot more intense than they were in the last game, and they last a, a bit shorter of a time. But my god, you have to be aware of like what my like what tools does my opponent have? And Nico's so good at like realizing this is the tool that I, I need at this time. Definitely switching arts constantly. Oh, this is not good. K9 oh, needs yeah, to get back on the stage. Oh, I, I like the two frame oper uh, um, option right there. Yeah. He was a little early though. Oh, it was on the platform. Right? It's rare that we see that. That crap ball? Yeah, the crap ball. He teched it. Yeah, he did actually. Yeah, I didn't even know you could tech the crap ball. Yeah, you can tech those, you can tech footstools in this game. Yeah. And, like, I knew the footstools was like. I, I, you just never see people prat, like tech the prat fall nowadays. Cause it, it's an option, but like you don't think of it, you know? Yeah, you kind of have to recognize what's happening mm -hmm. and react very quickly. Because uh, you don't always know if this move is going to hit you off the platform. And it, this game is inconsistent about a few things, like mm -hmm. uh, crossing up people's shields and uh, whether something knocks you off the platform. Like, for instance, if you get hit by a jab, that will knock you off. Mm -hmm. Oh, the crap jab. But uh, I just saw that other move did. Yeah, Nico almost got anti aired with that up tilt. There's an up tilt coming in from Nico. I'm not gonna take out the stock. K9 gonna go for a back throw, but like mid stage not gonna work out. Oh, he caught the ledge. He got hit by that. Yeah, it, it's a, it's honestly a really good like back, like high recovery option because you're coming back down. You have to get like directly under him in order to punish it. And oh, you yeah. have to kind of see it coming. I see Nico go for it all the time, but uh, K9 there had a plenty of time for that. Mm -hmm. Time for that. I definitely feel like he should have fielded that. Mm -hmm. uh, because, like, getting hit by that is so is not good. Mm -hmm. well, that's where one of your strongest positions is on the ledge there. So yeah. if you get hit in the knockdown, that's, you, you lose your opportunity at a ledge trap. Yeah. And that's really where K9 makes his money. Oh my gosh. So much damage with Nair to four so Buster Art does so much damage. Yeah, it's a, it's a tide changer for sure. Oh, oh up tilt just gonna straight up kill him. Yeah, he switched to smash, but that, that yeah. was kind of a That was really smart. It it was a it was an awkward air dodge that K9 did right there. I guess he was expecting Nico to like continue being in speed and then go and punish him with another fair. That's why he air dodged in, but like Nico kind of saw that and, and just up tilted him and said. Nair's too. Up tilt, so good. Back throw. Ooh, that's so much damage. This is not a good position for K9 at all. Yeah, he wants to get back in. Yeah, but there's a good bear. That was, yeah, that was pretty good. I mean, just like Shulk when he has you in the corner like that with Smash Monado is just, it's like, it's a nightmare situation. Yeah. And it's not hard for him to set up either. Mm. Oh, up there, there we go. It's another one. Nice. Not half sent this into losers, not happy about it. Yeah. He's shaking it off right now. Thinking about what he could do next time he plays. Because he was doing fine. 
but like he 